too crazy. It's getting way too crazy, getting way too crazy. So anyways, yeah. Okay, this is going on playback anyway, so I just want to say that all my videos are for entertaining purposes. Please don't take my videos as something rigid, something, you know, it's for entertaining purposes only. Discussions are for fun and please, because so much is going on, I had I didn't program myself to go live today. I apologize in advance. I did not program myself to go live. I was supposed to do something else. But I received a lot of news that something is going fishy around all the YouTubers. Somebody that we know who is doing something, and I'm not happy because it's affecting all of us content creators. Hello, we know who's talking. So. You know who's doing all this stuff. So I just found out one thing. One of the things that we're going to talk that I, I would like to talk about is, of course, Miss Migraine, Miss Megan, or whatever the royal name she wants to call herself. Uh, fashion, I heard about the AI. Uh, uh, the new baby doll now has a fashion designer. It's unbelievable. It's so crazy. I can't even get my mind out. Okay. And a little bit about Brexit because I believe that all this stuff that's going on and it's all a distraction for the UK taxpayers. Tax taxpayers. Taxpayers, please. Taxpayers. Anyways. So whoever wants to join me, this is going to be great fun or else I'll be talking to myself and I don't really care because... <laughs> Okay, so I first, first things first, about the videos that are being put down by Miss, I don't know if it's really, a, if she's the real one doing it, what well, I think it's not fair, because that's a way of you using your power. You have power. It's amazing to have power. It's good to have power. But if you know how to use the power in a good way, she doesn't know how to use power in a good way. So the thing is, people are doing whatever they they wish they're doing whatever they like they're they're transforming the monarchy and everything around them into a huge circus that's a fact that's something that we are watching every, every single day on the internet if you google it and on the youtube channels example my channel yes i'm talking a lot about it i'm doing a satire Thank you for your video. Look for one. I know, and welcome, B Carpenter. Welcome. I apologize. I did not uh, plan in advance. That's why I did not announce the, the live. But, anyways, I know it always goes on playback, so it doesn't matter. So, the other thing is, uh, I, ha I do have a moderator that I am so sure. Hi, Jessica. I am so sure that she's not able to be here right now, but nasty words and nasty comments and hateful comments towards anybody or anything will be deleted. Sorry. Yeah, I can't, I can't afford that. So let's go back to the subject. The subject is that people are making this monarchy a huge, huge circus. So now I just heard first, Oh, thank you very much. Barely existing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to my channel. I know, MD. That's what I want to talk right now. She hired David Martin as Archie stylist. As far as we all know, Archie is a doll. Unless, unless they prove the contrary. Hello, Karen. How are you? So Arch is a doll. Why would a doll, if we believe it's a doll, we all believe in it's a doll. We're joking that it's a doll because she doesn't show the doll's face. She doesn't show the baby's face and all that. 
I know a lot of YouTubers that are just had babies and they are showing their faces all over the internet. So what's wrong with this baby? We don't know what's wrong with this baby. Oh, it's Daniel Martin. Okay, thank you, B. Carpenter. So if it's really a doll, let's say it's a doll, why would you spend taxpayers money on planning a, a total outfit for a doll? So first, if it's a doll, a reborn doll, you can't be in your perfect mind. That's my opinion. No, that's fine. That's fine. Hello, Kentucky. Hello, hello. So, and, and somebody was complaining about my hello, hello, but I love to greet my, my viewers. Sorry you will complain about my hello, hello. They called me Santa Claus. I don't care. Anyway, so why would a doll... Why would the taxpayers have the obligations to pay for this stylist to style a doll? This is insane. So they are all making a mockery of the monarchy. So I am not surprised. Thank you very much, Althea. Thank you very much. Yes, they did. I believe they did get the dollar stylus. The thing is, what worries me is that I am not from the UK. As I always say, I'm trying to put my feet in their shoes. I, I feel very bad. If it was happening to where I am, I would be outrageous. And the whole situation is outrageous. So what I think that the top lady, the queen, her majesty, the queen is nowhere to be seen. I have anything about her online or anything like that. Thank you, Charlotte. Welcome. So I don't know if she's trying to keep herself aside from all this circus because I believe the woman is 90 plus something, 98. I don't know how old. Sorry, if anybody knows, please write it down. Please write, give me it 98. I don't know. She is amazing. She, as my husband was trying to tell me, because I'm zero in politics, I'm not very good at it. So 93. Thank you, MD. 93. So she is not young. She could retire in a couple of years, very short years from now, or even tomorrow. Yes, yes. So what happens is I believe that she's not if she doesn't do anything with the whole mockery that Meghan Markle is doing. And I do include her uh, met her grandson, Prince Harry. I don't know about William and Kate, but nobody is talking about all the silly stuff that Meghan Markle is doing, spending her humongous amounts of money that belong to the taxpayers and to the poor people that need food on their table. That's the thing that really annoys me so much. People need food. People need shelter. People need clothes. Children need food. And if it's a reborn doll, just for her to pretend she had a baby, it's outrageous to think that this woman is hiring a stylist that the taxpayers are going to have to pay for a baby doll. Thank you very much, B. Carpenter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Pauline. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So I was wondering, and please, if you want to express your opinion, I welcome you to spread your voice through my channel and i will translate i will read it if it's okay i will speak out and i will give i don't need to give your name but i will give you a voice through my channel so you're able to express yourselves if you're a british woman if you're a british man and you want a voice i will lend my my channel for you to have a voice no, I don't think he will take Bonnie. I don't think he will take, I don't think nobody after Queen Elizabeth will. What I think is she's not doing anything whatsoever to stop Meghan Markle. She's not doing anything whatsoever regarding all this spending money thing. The first, I don't know, if it ends with the, if it ends with her, they are all in a hole. Because the thing is, if Brexit is out of the Commonwealth, it's going to be a disaster for all the royals. 
Yeah, I know. I know, Rosie Rose. Yeah, I know. I know that she's trying to take down the channels. I was also going to talk about that because that's a way of using a power that you have in such a nasty and deceitful and wrong way. People have power. When you have power and when you have money, if you do things towards good things, that's a look at. I don't want to say the names of the people. I'm not here to say it, but the big tycoons of Internet, the big tycoons of websites, they all have money and voice and power. They only do good. What this woman is doing is getting her power, which she doesn't have, or she's trying to grab the power and the money that does not belong to her, belongs to the taxpayers, trying to shut down some YouTube channels because they're telling the truth. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's outrageous. And she is so silly. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Coco. Thank you so much. It is frustrating. I know. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Yes, it's ridiculous. Yes. Yes. The first concern should be the people of England. Children. All seniors, men, seniors, women, all these people that don't have a home, that don't have a, a, they don't have anything to eat. And worst of all, the ones that work eight, nine, ten hours a day to put food on their tables, to pay their rent and all of that, even to buy medicine or stuff. She's using that money that comes from that old man that works about 40, 50 hours a week to buy fancy clothes and hire a stylist for her baby doll. It's crazy. So if the queen is not doing anything, my point of view is it's going to end there. The monarchy is going to end there. It's going to be a republic. And I don't know. It's going to be a whole new version of Marie Antoinette. She's putting up with it because I think, yeah, yeah, she did miss. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yes, I think so. I think so, Pam. Of course, they're hiding something. Yes, they're hot. Hello, Portugal. Welcome to my channel, Joanna. Uh, we're all part of the Commonwealth as well, but we do not participate in their, um, how would you say, politics? But it's all part. She's the queen of the country, but she has no say in. I think the stylist think is a distraction. It's a distraction towards what's going on with the politics. My channel is not about politics. I really don't want to get into that subject. My channel is about fun. It's about satire, and I have loads of fun. But Brexit is right around the corner. It's a big, big headache. And whatever silly stuff she's doing, because she's an over over kill of, 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 of silliness that everybody's just looking at her and not looking about what's happening with politics. And the monarchy, I mean, if they get out of the Commonwealth, the economy is going down the drain. Nobody's going to be employed. There's not going to be food. There's going to be it's going to be like a first world war, or second world war or something like that. Brexit is the United Kingdom, England, getting out of the Commonwealth. They're going to be on their own. Some people say three hours, and some people that are friends with, I think, MM, say 30 minutes. Well, if she was there for only 30 minutes, it's because she was there only specifically to go after Harry to see what he was doing because Chelsea, Chelsea was there. That's what I saw that's what I saw in public domain. Nobody called me to tell me that. I saw it like everybody saw it. So anyways, she just went there to check on him because she's very insecure. That's what I think. Joanna, I think she's allowing because she's going to be the last one around. It's not going to go to William. It's not going to go to Kate. I don't believe it will. It can't continue. Why? Because the taxpayers are fed up. The British taxpayers have had enough with Meghan Markle. 
she came in absolutely destroying the monarchy, destroying everything that even the, the, the people had a nice view of the monarchy. They loved to watch the monarchy as something, as even a fairy tale dream for them who are not allowed to live that life or not able never to live that life. Yes, yes, Carlos. Yes, yes. He, uh, well, if he's going to make a mess, Carlos, do you agree that if he becomes prime minister, will he make a mess? <laughs> Don't worry, my channel will continue to be a Monty Python. It's just that I'm here as Pauline because I was outraged by the news that little Archie babies haven't a professional, uh, personal stylist. Oh my gosh, do you think so, Selena? Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Oh yes, Carla. So I am right to think that it's going to go down the drain, right? Yeah. Oh my God, this is going so fast. I want to write everybody's comments because I want you to be able to express what you feel. If you want me, I will be your voice. I will be your voice because it's coming to a point that it's outrageous. It's outrageous. Hi, hi, Miranda. It's a very bad Disney movie. Yeah, it's a, and the character, the main character, M.M., please, you know, enough of the mockery. Enough of the monarchy being mocked. Enough of the mockery being mocked. I wish I would do rap. Hello, Australia. Hi. Welcome. Yes, I do believe, Marsha. Everything was planned. Everything's a distraction. Everything is crazy. And, you know, so it, it, one other thing thing that I was discussing with my husband and if the other if William and Kate I have to say William and Kate or any other ones that would come after the Queen if they're not able or even Charles if he's not able to put like a stop on Meghan how is he going to command a country how is he going to stop everything that's going wrong in a country if he can't stop one single woman doing so much damage to the monarchy. I don't know. She's saying she's been bullied. She's saying, yeah, she said, she said that she's been bullied and she's putting, shutting down channels. The thing is she's using her power in a very, very, very wrong way. She used her money to transfer to L.A. She uses the taxpayers' money to transfer to L.A. We know where that money is going. So imagine what she's doing behind doors. Oh, really, Kathleen? I know, but they're spending all the money. If you want to explain that to me, if for me to understand it better, the UK government takes 75% of that, unless the our film and keep 25%. Okay. The point I'm making is that maybe we shouldn't focus on what they take in and or spend. Okay, what do you want to focus on? The, there's something very, very wrong going on because this woman who is part of the monarchy now is trying to shut down channels on YouTube that I don't know. Who does she think she is? Yeah, I know. It, it can't, it's not real because she married for the very, very wrong reasons. She married Harry for the totally wrong reasons, which were to uh, get the, the, the money, to get fame, because everybody knows. But she was the only one who didn't know who the royal family was. It 
came out from her own mouth. And she, it's ridiculous because she was in Buckingham Palace when she was a teenager. So please, you know, she's so, I don't know. I guess, Selena, I guess the book was blocked or she received money not to publish the book. Maybe that was it because, you know, her book was like the book, the book, the book, the book, the book. And all of a sudden there is no book. And where is she? I wonder where is this woman? <laughs> Yes, other 25 citizens in need need this money. They shouldn't be allowed to get one penny out of nothing. I think they have already plenty of money to do all the shenanigans and all the fun they want. But no, it's an ongoing money from the people who adore them and don't realize that it, this is all a farce. It's becoming... It, it's a farce, and it, as far as I'm concerned, they don't do nothing for the country. What do they do for the country? So M.M. got into this family for fame and fortune, but what is she doing? She's walking around with a fake baby and trying to hire a fashion stylist for an A.I. <laughs> it's an A.I. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Are you talking about me, Kathleen? Are you saying for me to give up? I don't, I'm not part of the, the, the taxpayers, sorry. I know she the, she will never be friends because she's competing. That's the thing. MM is complete, competing with Kate. She thinks she could be queen, but I don't believe Kate will ever become queen. I think the monarchy is going to end with Her Majesty, the Queen Elizabeth. That's um, that that's my thoughts. Okay, uh, uh, so much stuff I can't. We are not able. We're not allowed here. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, Kathleen. I think uh, I think um, you're being a little bit disrespectful. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, like today I was making my video. My videos are for fun. My videos are for everybody to come in and have loads of fun. And I was while I was drinking my coffee, somebody said something very, very nasty to me. And you know, you get trash. You go to the trash. You get blocked you're going to be rejected and you're going to be reported to youtube that's what happens sorry yeah yeah so that's it i'm not here to be bullied either because i'm not bullying anybody i'm giving you anybody who wants free speech to talk about whatever they wish what happens is Meghan Markle is shutting down some channels. I don't know why, because whatever she's doing, people are just seeing what she's doing. But besides that, we're going to talk about the fashion designer. Um, so the fashion designer was hired to dress that little baby doll during his entire year or during his entire life? I don't know. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. But I was receiving some very... Yeah, she was not being supportive. That's what... Yeah, that... Yeah, yeah. Ixa, Ixa Fuego. What an interesting name. Anyways, uh... That viewer was not being supportive. She was being aggressive and she was being rude. So we're not here for that. I'm not here to be rude to anybody. I'm just here to, you know, express what I think and ask you whatever you want for me to say. If you need something to say, I'll say it. No, we can't. Yeah, you can't make self birth yet. Oh, the blanket. Oh, my gosh, the blanket. 
Thank you very much, Aline. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot to me that you stop by my videos. <laughs> the nanny's quit. Yeah, the blankie. Now I heard that the blankie is eco-friendly blankie. It costs $40 or 40 pounds, but her dress costs $800. So I was telling her, advising her today that it should be the other way around. When you have a child, your child comes first. But whatever, she's always going to be the first in first place of anything. Her child's going to be poor thing, but it's a dollar, isn't it? Yeah, it's a meal ticket. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no. And what I thought it was amazing that I saw a video of Prince Di uh, Princess Diana, and she was holding, I guess, Harry. And she bent down for the children to play with Harry as, I guess it was Harry or William, Harry's christening. So, you know, and a lot of YouTubers, like I said in the beginning, they're all having babies and showing their babies for anybody to see. So why is she hiding? It's because it's a doll. No, I I think he was put into this marriage. I think he was like, um, how would you say, it? tricked into the marriage. She did not do that trick of getting pregnant and he had to marry because it's ridiculous because she's almost 40. But she did something else that we all know what maybe she probably used those tricks that women do. And he he's silly. He's immature. And he just fell into a trap. Hello, Heba. Texas. Oh, Texas. I'm dying to go to Texas. I would love to go to Texas. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Selena. Thank you. I'm just here to try to give everybody some laughs and some fun. That's all. <laughs> yes, me too. When I had a baby, my baby, my, 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 my baby, my son, he's a grown man because I don't have a baby. He's not a teenager. He's a young grown man and a wonderful person. So I would show him off to every single person, even in the middle of the street. So why wouldn't she show her baby? I mean, and he's a royal baby, you know. Yes, I will, Jade. I will be going. Yes, hopefully me, hubby, and my two furry babies. Okay. Yes, Kate showed all her babies, all of them, and she shows them to whoever. She doesn't care who's taking pictures. The little boys have fun taking pictures. The girl has fun taking pictures. She's adorable. The children are amazing. Why? Because she has nothing to hide. So May Markle is doing something tricky, so she has everything to hide. If you look at a video, there's a video that was taken at the polo match, and it's online. I'm not making this up. I'm not creating a, a buzz out of nothing. It was online, and she was holding the baby doll like like she was holding that, you know, that thing. And when she saw the cameras, she was so happy of the flashes and everything. But at the same time, she scrammed. She turned around, and she went the other way because she didn't want people to find out it was a doll. Oh, yes. I My son, for me, he's still my baby, but I don't say that because he gets very upset. He's a grown man. I love my son. No. Yeah, she can't take her hands off. The, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I never heard that. King Archie. Oh, my gosh. Who says that? Now he's King Archie. Oh, my God. He's never going to be King Archie. Sorry, man. It's going to end with Elizabeth. It's going to end with Elizabeth. Yeah, she was very bothered by the paparazzi. She was. <laughs> yeah, me too, Brown Betty. Me too. She seems to be a wonderful person, a wonderful. Kate looks, she's very friendly. She's very elegant and, and she's very wise. She's respectful and she respects people. 
But Megan is not respecting anybody. She doesn't respect her husband because she's making a mockery out of the family that she was married into. She's making a mockery of a country that welcomed her, and she's not even a citizen yet. So I wonder what's going to happen if, you know, if she divorces before she becomes a citizen. That's something that I'm very curious to find out. If anybody knows, please let me know because I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's it. That's true. It will. It will. I believe it's going to end with the with. Uh, yeah, it's going to end there. Yeah, she's a distraction. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, what I know is he likes Doria's style, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to say it out loud here, but he likes Doria's style. Anyways, so, yeah. Yeah, it's Harrison. Harrison is much better than Archie. Archie is not even a, Archie is like a joke name. Isn't it a joke name? It's not Archibald or Ar Archie. Archie is a joke name. So if anybody's smart enough to think she's joking, she's making mockery, she's disrespectful for every single person in the world. It's Archie Harrison. Yeah, I guess it's after Harrison Ford. I don't know who likes movies in that family. I think they like movies, video games, and whatever because, you know, they're, they're, it's crazy what they're doing. It's crazy. Yeah. Her cat's name was Archie. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, you got me thinking now. Her cat's name was Archie. Maybe she's making fun of her cat or she's making fun of her baby doll. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes. Prince George's nickname is Archie. So why would she do something like that? It's already a joke if she gets the little kids. He's a little boy, an innocent child. She's mockery and she's baptizing christening all the mockery because that was a Photoshop that never existed. That never existed. <laughs> it might be it might be the Raiders of the Lost Ark son. Yeah, he might come from that age because he's an AI. For me, he's an AI. So it goes like that. That's it. I saw that movie. If anybody saw that movie, AI, which had that little guy, that little boy that used that that was programmed to be a, a little uh, robot to love people, and they were he was adopted. He was just exactly like a little boy. Exactly. That movie was amazing. So I think Archie is that. Oh, I didn't know that, Patricia. I did not know that. Yeah. He, Jay, he wanted her to go. Go. He was trying to say, boo, get out of here. Nobody was expecting you here. You just came after my Uncle Harry to check on Chelsea. Leave them both alone. Go home with your doll. No, don't go home with your doll. Give my doll. It belongs to my sister, Char. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. Joe, uh, yes, yes, Osmond, Haley Joe Osmond, yes, thank you. That boy, he's now a grown man, but he did an amazing job. And I was, my hubby told me that there's going to be a movie that it's a, a, a second or third, I don't know, called Replica by Keanu Reeves. I love Keanu Reeves. I love Keanu. So anyways, Keanu Reeves made a similar movie like AI, but I was so in love with AI because I thought that movie was amazing. So I guess Megan is copy. She can't. I mean, that's a copyright movie. She's already doing something wrong. Yes, yes. The Sixth Sense Kid. That movie was also amazing. That movie was perfect. Yeah, he's a great actor. And what I see, he's a fantastic human. Keanu Reeves, uh, 
He's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah, me too. Me too, Jay. I, I think he's amazing. He's he's a wonderful person. Which we know it's not happening with the Royals. Hello, good night, Mrs. Good night. Kiana. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, Cleet Eastwood as well. Has never been the same. No, he hasn't. He changed so much. He was so sweet. But somebody somebody wrote to me saying that he's not the real Harry. I don't know if that's true or if it's somebody saying something that's not real. Somebody else was saying that his hair was straight and all of a sudden it became curly. I honestly don't think he looks good with the beard. I think he looks very nice and he's very handsome without the beard. But, you know, maybe Megan likes beard, so we can't do nothing about it. Yes, 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 Eva, exactly. Exactly, that's what's going to happen. Good evening, Cynthia. Good evening. And what's, what is shocking it is going to the same road as Marie Antoinette. I watched this movie. It was, uh, what's her name? Sofia Coppola. 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 Excuse me if I'm wrong. She made this amazing movie. I know if anybody watched it, check it out. It's beautifully made. It's modern with Kirsten Dunst. It's beautiful. It is exactly like Megan. Yeah. Mm, Scratchy kisses, thank you. Oh, Jay, they, they, they're going to get there, but what's going to happen? They're going to go, you know, they're going to turn around because it's a doll. It's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, but I think if she let her hair naturally curly the way it is it's beautiful so why would you reject i mean i do everything for my hair to become curly i times do my videos with curly hair i need tons of products to do that i need the curling iron everything to do that she has natural natural curly curly hair i mean but i don't think it's royal that's it yes i can't wait heather i cannot wait for wimbledon to see but what i can't wait is what's going to happen with the news oh, about this stylist. She proclaims everything that she's going against. She proclaims free speech, but she's smacking down and closing down channels. She's proclaiming, uh, you know, to be vegan and all that, roasted chicken and everything, you know, that she's not doing nothing of that because, you know, the other thing she's doing, free spirited and, you know, feminist and blah, blah, blah. She's not doing none of that. What she's doing is spending all the money that she can spend. She's proclaiming, I don't know, she feels entitled. It doesn't mean that you married someone, that you're entitled of everything. I don't know. She won't take the baby. <laughs> she won't take the baby doll. You know why? Because there's going to be too many people there. The thing is, she might rent a baby to take to Wimbledon. She might. She could. But there are too many paparazzis there, too many people. The baby's going to cry. She's not going to know how to handle a baby that she's, you know, hiring. And the doll, I mean, the doll can't, well, could be sleeping the entire game. But she, what is, she, I don't know. No, you know, I read that the Brazilian blowout uses a chemical so strong to make a curly hair be straight, silky, and beautiful. It's it's a chemical that it was even forbidden. There was a time in Brazil that this Brazilian blowout was forbidden. It was banned because of a chemical. So if you are preggers, if you're pregnant, would you be crazy to do that to your fetus, to your royal baby? I don't think so. She was never pregnant. No, not, no, no, not, we're not talking about that. Okay. 
Okay, I'll do that. Don't worry. Uh, uh, okay, barely existing. I will do that. Okay, I just have to find her. Oh, yeah, she needs to be. Yeah, sorry, Nadia, but I cannot allow this on the channel. Sorry, you're being disrespectful to my viewers. I am not going to allow that. Yeah, I am not going to allow that. No, no, don't worry. I'm, I'm fine. Hello, Brazil. Hello, Bruno. Hello. Um, I could, but now I could, have, um, Miranda, I could do that, but I just, uh, she's out. She's blocked and she's out and she's been reported to YouTube, so I can't. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, that was very bad. I know, Bonnie, that was, was very bad. Yeah, she is, Jade, because I blocked her. You can't be disrespectful to anybody, and I'm not going to allow my viewers to be disrespectful at all. This is not my channel. I don't want that. Yeah, it's all about, yeah. Okay, H&N, she could be in a relationship, but we never know what happens behind closed doors, do we? Mr. Model. <laughs> okay. You're very welcome. Why? Oh, oh my God. Let me. Wife of Grumpy Old Marine. Okay. It took me a while to get that one. Yeah, you're very welcome. Whoever does that, out of my channel. Yeah, I do. I have I have a moderator, but Twiggy, Twiggy's not in. I guess Twiggy's working. Doesn't matter. Whoever finds something silly here, please advise me because I want to talk to you. I want to read everything. I don't want to let anybody out. I want your opinions about whatever. Give me your opinions about Brexit. Give me your opinions about the fashion stylist. Give me your opinions. Whatever you want to say here, please say it, and I will be your voice. I'm here to be your voice as well as expressing my voice. Yeah. Oh, Twig, Twig, yeah, Twiggy is amazing. She's she's pretty cool. She's my moderator. Oh, Jade, yes, yes. What was she thinking that day? Hobby, are you fine? You want to participate with me? <laughs> my hubby's back. Oh. <laughs> Do you know this hat? I'm, the in, royal hat. I'm in Wimbledon. I am in Wimbledon. How about that? <laughs> you too? Can Honey, do you want to participate? No, not today. Hello, hello, hello. Here's the baby, Archie. It, it's <laughs> not a baby Archie. Don't go. No, I, yeah, that's my fault. That's my fault. I, but I use these hats in the sun because I have very fair skin. When I go to the beach, when I go to the beach. Yeah, yeah, but Hubby can't, I mean, he has his day off today, but Hubby can't participate. He's doing something else. Yeah, it would be loads of fun. We'll do another live with him because he's very funny. And, and thank you. Thank you. I'll let him know about that. I can't wait. We'll, we'll when will she be at Wim Wimbledon? It will be Sunday, right? Does anybody know? Yeah, I've got the good one, yeah. I'm fine, Alexis. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Sunday. Okay, so Sunday. Okay, what do you guys think that after the game, I don't know what time will it be, after the game, I guess I'm going to do a live and chit chat gossip about the game. Do you guys want this or not? Because if you do agree, we're going to do that Sunday. Yes, thank you very much. I do my best. Yes, so let's do Sunday and I will bring my hobby. 
and we will both do a live. We will comment. Everybody's going to have a voice to comment. We're going to gossip. We're going to do everything. I must check out the time because I am not in the UK. Yes, I will do it. After, right after. So that's a date. That's going to be a date between us all. 3 p.m. England. So I guess you guys are five hours. Be, um, yes. So right after the game, I will be here. I will be right here after the Wimbledon game. I'm going to try to watch it because it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be hilarious. I wonder if she's going to clap like this and if she's going to wear her hat and if she's going to ask the paparazzi, don't take pictures of me. <sighs> Same time as today. You're in Australia, Miranda. Okay, Miranda, the, the, the game will be, the, they're telling me that it's going to be at 3 o'clock UK time. I am in Pacific time, so it would be like uh, in the morning my time. Oh, the game is tomorrow. Okay, so then tomorrow and Sunday is the Lion King. Oh, my gosh, we're going to have loads of fun this weekend. I'm going to go live Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow's going to be the Lion King and Sunday. No. Tomorrow, Wimbledon, Sunday, the Lion King. Oh, my God, this is crazy. Oh, yes, Saturday, the ladies' final. Oh, isn't it cute that she's going to watch Serena and she's going to be clacking like this? <laughs> it's going to be 1 p.m. in the U.K. Okay, full weekend. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry you're not going to be here. But you can watch everything is going to be on playback. Don't worry. Yes, I will. I will. I will post it. Don't worry. I will post it. So I will post what time I will be on Saturday and what time I will be on Sunday. So then you guys can, you know, program and whatever. Don't worry. Yes, I'll do it. I will do that. Okay, Australia. Okay. It's going to be an amazing weekend. Oh, my God. It's going to be so crazy. We're going to be able to talk about a clothes. We're going to talk about it's going to be a fashion gossip, chit chat, crazy. We are going to say whatever we want. We're going to talk about our hair. We're going to talk about the clothes. We're going to talk about the game. We're going to talk about the paparazzi. We're going to talk about the selfies that she doesn't want to be taking the selfies. It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be insane. And the Lion King, I told you. I told her this morning not to take the baby dog because the lion's going to think it's a prop. He might even chew it. You know what I mean? It's like a dog. Puppies love to chew dolls. Yeah. Are you kidding me? They are not going. I did not know. I thought Kate was going with her. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Are you sure Kate and William are not going to watch The Lion King? She's going with Harry. Do you think she's going to take baby Archie, that baby Archie, that thing that she's carrying around like a baby? Yes. Oh, what do I think about? Oh, okay, Peg. What do I think about hiring a stylist for a baby doll? Okay, for me, he's a he's a doll. He's not a baby. I think it's insane. I think it's outrageous. I think it's a, it's it's a mockery. I don't know. It's so insane. I I barely have words. It's crazy. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, it will. She's going to be on her own. All of, She's going alone. Alexis, where is she going alone? Alexis, tell Twiggy. Twiggy. Hi, Twiggy. Twiggy is in the room. My moderator. My moderator, Twiggy. I had to do all the business here, taking away a lot of people that would say nasty words, that would say nasty words to our viewers. No way. Twiggy is in the room. Nobody nasty is coming to bother my viewers. 
She's going alone to the Lion King. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe you. Thank you very much. Thank you, D D Temple, because I can't read. Do Temple, beautiful. Thank you. Yes, we love Twiggy. Yes, we all love Twiggy. Oh my gosh. Oh, so. No, no, Kate has to go. Kate has to go because. Twiggy, if Twiggy was not here, Twiggy, let me tell you this. Saturday and Sunday, we're going to do a live. I mean, I'm going to go live. I'm going to bring in my hubby, and we're going to go live to be able to do all the chat and all the gossip and everything regarding Wimbledon and Meghan Markle and Lion King and Meghan Markle. So that's what's going to happen Saturday and Sunday. Oh my God, did she say that? 300, the stylist is going to cost $300 or pounds a year? Because I believe pounds is a lot more than dollars. Oh. Yeah, this family. Hello, Canada. There's a Canadian flag here. <laughs> She's going to wear a leopard. <laughs> okay, Twiggy, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. She's. Oh, my gosh. I don't know, Carlos. Twiggy, I don't know what you think about Carlos. Yep. What do you mean staged? Oh, no, no, please. Give me, give me, give me, give me. What do you mean the polo match was staged? By whom? You're in the East Coast, Alexis. I'm in the Pacific Coast. So uh, you you would be like in New York. I guess you're five hours. Mm, oh, my gosh. I'm so Okay, good night, honey. See you later. Thank you for coming in. Good night. Have a wonderful evening. Oh, my gosh. Oh. She, uh, yeah, I mean, she loves the paparazzi. She loves the paparazzi. But the thing is, when they want to take pictures of the baby doll, she doesn't love the paparazzi that much. She only wants the paparazzi to be on her, right? Yeah. Minutes, night hunt. She, are you kidding me? You mean she got the also the whole the whole seats at the Lion King, or a, she can't do that at Wimbledon, I guess, because I guess a lot of people are going to go three hours ahead of the Pacific time. Okay, three hours ahead of Pacific time. So the game they said it's going to be in the morning. Maybe if if I don't watch the game in real time, I will watch it in playback, and I will set a time that's going to be good for everybody. So then everybody will be, will have watched the game, and then everybody can you know talk about it. it. Doesn't mean that it has to be exactly right after the real game. If it's not going to be good for everybody, let's see a time that's going to be good for everybody. And I'll, I'll post it and I will leave a message on my YouTube for you to see what time I'm going live. Don't worry. Oh, no, Selena, really? That late? So it's 35 past midnight now. Wow, it's 430 where I am. So. You're you're nine hours ahead of me. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's 4.30 where I am right now, too. <laughs> oh, Alex, that was great. 
it might, it might, it might, but I was advised by a reborn doll maker, if I can call it, because they're artists, because they do amazing jobs. Kudos for them, because they do amazing jobs. And she said that that baby at the polo match was a baby doll. It was a reborn doll. So, I, I mean, that says a lot. Oh my gosh, 6 30, 9 30, 7 30. I have people all over the place. This is South Carolina. I've been to South Carolina. I loved it. Oh my gosh. One thing that I'm shocked, Mitch, <laughs> one thing that I'm shocked is where is the movie that her ex husband was making? He said something very interesting. Remember, he was writing a book to make a movie or something like that about a couple, a royal couple that gets divorced and who gets to keep the baby. Remember, I don't know if anybody remembers that. It was Meghan Markle's ex-husband who said that. Washington State. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Perla, you have the same time I do. Yeah. Eight weeks. That was a humongous baby. A Two month old baby is small and they their arms are not too fat. And I think it's adorable, those fat little arms. 9 40 a.m. Yes, Australia. You're lucky, yeah. And you're already Saturday, right? Me too. Trevor got married. Yes, he got married and he moved on. And I guess he's glad to move on from that MM thing that he got. But she also ghosted him like she ghosts everybody that she doesn't want anything to do with them anymore or at least people who don't give her advantages on whatever she needs for the moment you know what i mean yeah yeah why hide it no it yeah 12 month pregnancy that's true the thing is what what happens is if 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 they really go to Africa, which I doubt, I doubt that they're going. I think that's also a distraction. If they go to Africa to pick up a baby, it's going to be totally different from the one that she's holding. So I don't know how she's going to handle that. I don't know. She's going to say it's a tan. I don't know. Yeah. Me too. That pregnancy took so long. I mean, I'm a mother. So when I was pregnant, I, I, when I was nine months pregnant, I said, oh, my God, I want this over because first I wanted to see my baby. But second, it, it took a toll on my body. Now, how could she stand like 12 months pregnant? I mean, she's amazing. Yeah, I think they did, Mia. I think they did. About Samantha's book because she's nowhere even where is Samantha? We don't know where is Samantha or anything like that. Yeah, the baby should have curly hair, but the baby was bald, completely bald. And it was a shiny bald. Hi Ruth. Hi, honey. Welcome. Yes, you just got here. Yes, good. I'm glad. Hooray. I know, Twiggy, I know. Well, that's what I was saying in the beginning of the video, was that I don't believe the monarchy is going to continue after Queen Elizabeth is gone. I believe it's going to stop there because the taxpayers are fed up with all this spending. They are fed up with the spending. I mean, why continue? And if... William cannot take control of Harry and tell him to stop this nonsense. Get Take this woman out of the royal family. Send her back to, I don't know, a private island. I'm not going to send her to the States because I love the USA. Send her to a private island, but that's another thing. If he can't control this situation, he's not going to be able to control a country. So he's not suited to control a country or be a king. I'm sorry. Oh, you're a foodie. Wow. 
Yankee is talking to Samantha. Oh, I don't know, Bethany. I don't know. Yes. No, you're not, Ruth. No, you're not. Yes, there's nothing about that that you said. We all we all know that. You're pretty cool. You're a nice person. Don't worry about that. Oh, Twiggy, can you imagine the day that that has to happen, that she has to do a curtsy for Kate? She's going to be so furious. She's going to be sick. She's going to have a, a, a two broken legs. She's not going to be able to, to do that. She's going to do everything not to do it. <laughs> yeah, she did redefine motherhood because I thought that was so crazy. I told her, I mean, I don't know how hot it is in England, but it's not so hot here. But she had no sunscreen. She had no water. She didn't have a carriage. I mean, wasn't she tired to hold the baby? The baby's so uncomfortable in the mother's arms. It's warm to be in the mother's arm. Leave the baby on the grass. That was, that grass was moral and pretty clean. I don't think so, Eva. I think she only has to do that to the queen. That's what I think. I don't know if anybody knows. Please let me know. I think she only has to do that to the queen. Let me see if I can see better. Yeah. Yes. She always never hired her baby. Her, a booga, what's a boogaboo, please, Shannon? What's a boogaboo? It was 25, so it wasn't that warm. It wasn't that warm. It was nice, right? Yeah, she looked pretty awkward. She looked really strange. Well, why hide godparents? I mean, what's the what's what's the reason? I mean, they don't do nothing in the, the child's life anyway. I don't know. Oh, I didn't get that, Twiggy. I didn't get that. Oh my God, this is going so fast. Oh, she has a 3,000. 3, oh, I know which one you're talking about. Why didn't she take it to the polo mat? She didn't take it to the polo mat. She left it home. What, is she afraid to use it? I don't know. She doesn't even know how to maybe push, push a straw. <laughs> Yeah, there were no godparents. There was no baby. There was no christening. There was nothing. I don't know, H&N. I think she was paid to do that. I think she was paid to do that because she's nowhere in sight. Yeah, babies do this. Yes. Twiggy, it was... Yeah, Twiggy, now can you tell me... Hello, hello, Nisu. How was it staged? Oh, it was staged just for her to take pictures. But it was real that Chelsea was there, right? Yeah, way too big. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if she's a distraction. I wonder if they got MM as a distraction for all the 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 very complicated stuff that's going on in England right now. I don't know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bethany, did Chelsea block MM? Is that <laughs> Did Chelsea block her on Insta? Oh my God, that would be hilarious. Megan goes in and boop, she's blocked. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yes, they do. Why didn't Harry marry Chelsea? Why? What was wrong with you, Harry? She didn't want to marry you. What? I mean, you're such a gentleman. You could have made that woman marry you. <laughs> Okay, Elizabeth, Philip, Charles, Camilla, William, and Kate. Oh, she does have to curtsy to William and Kate. No, H&N, what was the quote? No, no, do you remember what was the quote? Chelsea wrote on the day of the wedding. The gossip was that he called her to say that he was getting married. No, she knew that. Oh, she didn't want this Chelsea, yeah. Oh, Nisa MM didn't use the stroller because she doesn't know how to push the stroller. She doesn't know how to hold a baby or push a stroller. We're asking too much out of that woman. I think we're asking too much out of that woman. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been removed. You mean Chelsea's Insta is being removed, is that it? Yeah, she's a smart lady, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know how to pull it out of the car. She's going to have to ask everybody. Harry was busy with his horse. He's not going to help her with the stroller. And carrying a baby, I mean, she would do a mess. She would fall. Oh, I know why she didn't do it on her own. Because can you imagine Megan with the baby and having to get the stroller out of the car? And then all of a sudden, the baby doll falls on the ground. It's not going to cry. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's why she didn't take the stroller. Because she didn't want to go through that. We are going to watch the, the, the game. Yes, we are all going to watch the game. Oh, my gosh. Ne messy room. Oh, my gosh. Where is that room? She would not have had a issue in there. Deal. <laughs> Royal behavior. <laughs> the batteries fell out. Yeah, the batteries are going to fall out. The baby's not going to cry. It's going to be a mess. So she didn't want the public or, you know, oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. If, what if she tripped on her dress? Can you imagine if she tripped on that dress? That humongous tent dress and the baby fell. The doll fell because it's not a baby. The doll fell and the batteries would go everywhere. That would be crazy. Oh, my God. Yes, I will. Thank you, Gail. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, it was gorgeous. She has a beautiful hair. Kate has beautiful hair. That would be a nightmare, yeah. <laughs> yeah, royal batteries. But don't forget, I got her that nanny. fired the nanny that was an electrical engineer, and she was, you know, thinking about some panels, solar panels for the baby. Just put the baby in the sun, and it will start screaming, maybe talking and walking. How about that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's crazy. MM is completely out of her mind. Oh my gosh, who does that? I don't know. Maybe he was calling to say, please, please, every time I call you, please don't, don't let me down. Answer the phone, Chelsea, don't let me down. That's what he was saying to her.
family nerds. Yes, that was that was funny, Victoria. That, yeah, he's a he's he's so charming. Uh, they're all so cute. I mean, all the royal babies, but Arch Arch is a doll. But George, Prince George, Prince Louis, he's amazing. He's he's amazing, and Charlotte too. Yes, Louis is amazing. Oh, Louis is amazing. No, Bethany, he's not going to do anything. What I think is that he does not have the power. I wonder why doesn't he have the power to control his brother, his younger brother, who is doing a mo mockery to the mockery. That's what he's doing. Did he already? Well, he told Meg. He told, yeah. Sorry, what I heard, this is what I heard. This is something that was in the news that his grandfather advised Harry not to marry her because once with an actress you don't marry an actress and the other one was Prince William said that she was not wife material she he didn't know anything about Megan he didn't know where did she come from at that time of their relationship to be part of their royal family he was right but Harry was furious and he went on with the he got in a trap <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, H and N. That's hilarious. Uh. Yeah, I love George and Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, to a galaxy is right. Oh yes, but the, oh okay, but. The doll did not have a hat while he was at the park. So maybe she did the, the charging at Frogmore and ran out of the house quickly. That's why she didn't get dressed properly, because maybe she's so smart that she thinks the solar panels, you know, charged it and it will be discharged in a while. It wouldn't, Megan. You would have time to get dressed, comb your hair, put it in a bun and look de a little bit decent. Oh, okay, Amy. Okay, Amy, that could be, that could be, because I noticed that he, Andrew, does not look at her. He's always tur turning his back on her. I've noticed that. Oh, my God. Gosh, do you think so? I think he is already so old, Prince Philip. Prince Philip talked to Harry, told him not to marry her. He did marry her anyways. And look what's going on to his own family. It's crazy because he, he betrayed his own flesh and blood. That's what it's so irritating. Oh, my computer's going crazy. No, I did not see that sunscreen in the car. That's not a royal. That's not royal. It should have been a royal high-end brand, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, Bethany. I wish that would happen, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ruth. Yes, Ruth. We forgot about that. We forgot. It cannot be any other brand. It had to be that specific brand of sunscreen. Ruth, you're better than me, huh? You want? We should do a collab, honey. Okay. The windows are all boarded up. Is that crazy? Um, uh, I love that guy was going to dress. I told him he better listen to the master if he wants to get our position. He, he shouldn't block me. I helped him get this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, it would be a great one. It would be a fantastic one. We could do something like that. So we've been around for almost an hour and a half. I'm going to wrap this. Yeah, it's a distraction, Susan. It's a distraction for whatever is happening to the country. To wrap this up, I think it is a distraction. Brexit is a problem for the country. If it happens, the country is going to go down the drain. They're going to be jobless, homeless people, and it's going to be a mess. Um, yeah, let's see. So we all have a date. I will put that on my YouTube channel. Yeah, it's totally flat. Uh, who get custody? <laughs> well, I think she's going to get the whole, it's going to be a container of bananas. She can keep all the bananas to herself, but she's going to, she's going to have her hand hurting because she's going to write messages to every single, single billionaire man who's ever available to marry her. Yes, so let's, I'm going to wrap this live up, which is amazing. Thank you, everybody. But let's do this. I will post a, a message on my YouTube channel. The time that we're going to, I will be live after Wimbledon and after the Lion of the King, Lion King, sorry. So we can do a live to chit chat and gossip and see what did MM do all the silly stuff that she did on the game and at the theater, who's going, who's not going. It's going to be a wonderful day. It's going to be a fun day, and we're not going to say nasty things to anybody, nobody. We're just going to have some fun. So I'm going to see the schedule. That's going to be fine for everybody. And I will all see you Saturday. If you want to, you're very welcome to my channel, Saturday and Sunday, everybody. Everybody has a voice here for whatever you need to speak out loud. I will say it. Thank you. I love you all too very much. Twiggy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being my moderator. And Twiggy, don't forget Saturday and Sunday if everybody's or anybody's available. And let's get to it because it's going to be a gossip time. And thank you very much for being part of my life today. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. A wonderful morning, who was ever in Australia or Japan or whatever. And I hope to see you all Saturday and Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and every single day. Thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you very much.